Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. This is Chris Thomas with the Thomas Group at Keller Williams Louisville East. Wanted to give you a quick real estate update. Uh, there's so much chatter right now in the real estate industry, uh, in the media, and talking about uh, what's happening with the housing market, what's happening with the economy. Uh, and so it's important to keep in mind that when people are pontificating about the housing market, that there is no the housing market, that all Real estate is local and markets are local. Uh, so listen to someone who knows what they're doing, who's actually on the ground uh, doing this stuff every day, looking at the markets every day. And uh, you know, somebody like me, you know, shameless plug, uh, but, but, but for real, whoever, whoever you listen to, make sure it's somebody who's actually productive and in the game every day, uh, because um, otherwise you're just gonna get a very generalized look that does not capture uh, the true markets that are happening out there. So let's talk about that real quick. So we remain uh, pretty low in inventory. Inventory's come up some. People have been, uh, you know, kind of excited about that, thinking, "Oh gosh, here we go. We're we're going to settle into a buyer's market." I I just don't see that um, anytime soon. I don't think uh, there's going to be a buyer's market anytime soon outside of um, something catastrophic happening. Uh, that will that will throw a bunch of inventory on the market all at once. Not looking like it. Uh, none of the data is pointing toward that. So uh, if you're waiting for that, that's it's just not worth the wait. I would go ahead now and think about uh, you know how to get moved sooner rather than later uh, because prices are not retreating much. Uh, we are seeing some areas and some price reductions. Some homes uh, you know staying on the market a little bit more. Uh, than others, but uh, for the most part, we're we're not seeing a whole lot of change. Other than maybe instead of 30 offers on a property, you're seeing four or five. So there's still competition, um, and I don't I don't foresee that changing much, especially as we head into the fall, which has its own kind of market uh, that that coming out of the dog days of summer tends to be stronger than the end of summer. So uh, we are up a bit in inventory. That is good, uh, but we really really need more. So. If you're looking to sell, uh, it's still a great time. If you're looking to buy, it's better uh, than it's been uh, because inventory has risen some and rates have come down after they went up uh, to above 6% for, for a 30 year mortgage. They are down hovering now closer to 5%. Obviously uh, that comes with a caveat that I'm not a loan officer. You need to talk to one and I can recommend uh, who, who you should talk to on that for sure. Uh, but anyway, just keep that in mind. So, um, but, but the main point here is uh, just to, to make sure that when you're getting your information and making uh, decisions on whether or not it's a good time to move, um, make sure you're getting it from somebody who's, who's in the business, on the ground, in the local market that, that you, you need uh, help in. So I'm here for you. Let me know if I can help you. It, it could be as simple as uh, me providing you with a uh, market analysis of your current home, uh, giving you an idea of uh, where you know where we uh, where we're seeing maybe some additional inventory um, in, in the event that it hits a, a place that you would be wanting to live. Maybe it's an investment property. Uh, the other thing is we're we're really working hard uh, to find opportunities uh, off market uh, with sellers that it would benefit them not to be on the market. We can talk about that. Uh, and that, that opens up a whole nother uh, avenue for buyers, uh, you know, less competition, uh, hopefully, and, uh, you know, and the ability to kind of structure deals where it's, uh, it's beneficial to both parties in terms of timing on closing and, and timing on possession. So call me, text me, uh, let me know if any of that's interesting to you. Uh, I'd be glad to talk to you as always. My number is 502-533-5894. And uh, you can call or text me there or email me or however you want to get in touch. Would love to hear from you and hope you're having a great day. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.